Once you get control of your need for finance, your opportunities become infinite. I can't tell you what your opportunities will be, and you can't tell me what my opportunities will be because they become infinite. Each person can have a different opportunity that comes their way. Hi, so I'm going to talk to you about simply three things that we do with the infinite banking concept to help you. Now, what I've learned over time is that, you know, people find, well, what is the infinite banking concept all about? And how do I put that into practice? And why would I put that into my practice in my life? So today I'm going to really try to get it down to those three simple things that we're going to help you with. That's right. Just three simple things. If you want to pursue the infinite banking concept, I'm going to give you a bonus. So I'm going to encourage you to stick around to the end and really learn what you could about whether this concept is for you or not. It is a simple thing and sadly we make it too complex. But today I'm going to try to change that. We'll talk about it, but I really want you to get how simple this is and what we do, the three things we do to help you on your journey. I wanted to just put this up here for a reason, because one of the things the late R. Nelson Nash, the founder of the infinite banking concept, always said was it all begins with the way you think. So this is a thinking exercise. That's part of what it is. It's a bit of a thinking exercise. I want to get you thinking. And there's a reason for that, because what we say and what we know, and Nelson said this all the time to us, is this can't be taught. It's got to be caught. So that's what I want you to be really, why I want you to fix a date on thinking. You know, it's going to take you, I'm going to require you to do some thinking and hopefully through this process today, I'm going to help you make that thinking a little bit easier just to really get started and all those good pieces. When it comes to what I do and what other practitioners do is that quite often you, as we're working, as you're listening to us, you don't understand often the words we use and then the illustrations that we use. So here's what I wanted to you know, share with you quickly on that one. So here's my experience from working with a multitude of people. And it's even something that I can remember from when I first started looking into this and whether this is something that I want to do in my life as far as practice and live the infinite banking concept. And that's that, you know, often people will, you know, hear about it, they'll get a little bit of information about it, and they'll start to fixate on the illustrations. And they want to see illustrations, they want to see the numbers. And I really encourage you, and I encourage people all the time, it's not about an illustration. This is about something much more than that. And that's what I'm going to help you understand and the other thing that I wanted to do today is that just to remind you that as you're going through this little video when you wonder, well, I want to know more about this. Well, I'm going to encourage you to go to watchibc.com. That's right. That's a 90 minute video and it'll be, it'll appear or you can click on the link. And when you have time taking that 90 minute video, it's really going to help you understand more in depth about how this process works. So we know, I know. Some of the times, the problem that I have as a practitioner is that, you know, people just don't understand what I'm saying. Hey, because I live it every day. I start to work jargon into my conversation that I know, but you may not know. So I'm going to try and keep it really simple today. And I thought this was a really good foundation for us to start with. And there's a reason for that. It's because, you know, when you really think about what is becoming your own banker, Nelson put it best. And again, this is right out of his book called Becoming Your Own Banker. It's right in there. What is it all about? And it's this matter of how much of the banking function do you control as it relates to your needs? So that's it. It's about control. And, you know, what we've learned, what I know and what I've heard people in this industry say, very few people understand how core banking is for each and every one of us. We all bank. We all bank every day. A lot of people just don't stop and think about that. And so the infinite banking concept and becoming your own banker is about getting control as it relates to your need, the banking function, getting control of that banking function. So that's kind of a fundamental thing, not part of the uh, things that we will help you with. But I thought, well, okay, well, maybe this is another even bonus for you just to realize that that's what it's about. All about how much of that banking function do you control as it relates to your needs. And that's as simple as it is. So this is a really great quote, really has a lot for me and you to consider. 
And that's if you want to teach someone a new way of thinking, don't bother trying to teach them. And again, I go back to that, you know, Nelson always used to say, this can't be taught. It's got to be caught. Instead, give them a tool, the use of which will lead them to new ways of thinking. So my experience, again, with working with people and the infinite banking concept is I see it as people start and they get into utilization of their own banking system to get control of some part of their need for finance. That's, you know, they use the process and they use the tool that comes with it and they start to see new ways to think about it. They start to understand and they get to see new things and they get to learn because, hey, they're putting thought into it and they actually have the process and they have the tool that's helping them on that journey and they just start to think about, hey, I could use it this way, I could use it that way. There's a reason why Nelson called it the infinite banking concept. And that's because once you get control of your need for finance, your opportunities become infinite. I can't tell you what your opportunities would be. And you can't tell me what my opportunities would be because they become infinite. Each person can have a different opportunity that comes their way. That's just something I wanted to share with you. Again, I always have to remind myself about this great quote. And don't try to teach people. Help them think about it. So that's what I'm going to do with the three simple things, you know, just that we help people with. I'm just going to show you a bit of a diagram. And hopefully that's the tool that you're going to use to help you on your journey today to discover whether this is something that you want to do or not. Number one, it's discover two specific things. And so what are those two things? Well, first and foremost, we help people like you discover the money that you have presently. We've all got an infinite amount of money that's flowing through our hands. How much of that is flowing into your control? So that's the first thing we're gonna help you with. Of the money that comes into your hands, whether that be from you know, a job you have or whatever other source it is, how much of that is flowing into your control? And then we're also gonna help you discover. So that would be like this, flowing out. Not flowing in, but it's flowing out. The thing we're going to help you discover, the first thing is we're going to help you discover those two things. How much money that you presently have coming in is flowing into your control and how much is flowing out of your control. And then when that's done, the second thing that we're going to help you with is to strategize. Now, what are we going to help you strategize on? Well, it's pretty simple. That's going to be the second thing we're going to do. After you discover, then we're going to strategize. How can we get more of the money you have now, not about new money, it's just the money you have now, how can we get more of it flowing into your control? Now, this is not something I come up with. This is something I've seen Mark Benson, who's an IBC practitioner in the US, actually go through. And I thought that's such a great way to help people understand the things that we do for them on their journey, the things we help them with, and maybe through that, it just helps them understand in a much simpler way than a lot of the times when we try to explain it. So that's what I wanted to make sure I took the time to do, and that's to give credit to where credit is due. I got this idea from Mark Benson. Now we're gonna look at part number three, the end result. That's the other thing that we help people with. What is that end result that you end up with? Well, it's just simply this. Now, would that be a good thing? Wouldn't that be a good thing? So the end result, three things we help people with is that they, you end up with more money that you retain and utilize for the rest of your life and also for the next generation. That's another key part of it. Like the next generation is a key part of this. Like Nelson always taught us because it's key to think long range. Think not just about ourselves. Think about the next generation and the generation after that. That's kind of a key element of this concept and what we help you do. So again, just as a reminder, we simply help you with discovering how much money is flowing into your control, how much money is flowing out of your control. Then we help you strategize how do you get more of your money flowing into your control. And thirdly, we help you achieve the end result, which you retain more money for your utilization for the rest of your life and for the next generation. So that is really at a high level, really a simple way of what we do, what we help people do. Because, hey, I want you to think. I want you to learn how to think, and I want you to see how this process works. So I hope that little diagram just gives you an idea how this works and what we do when you work with us. That's what I'd encourage you to do. It's just, you know, in anything in life, you'll know this already. If you want to get better at something, what do you have to do? Well, you have to learn. You have to push yourself. You have to, you know, quite often it means getting outside your comfort zone. And even people that are the very best at what they do, when you think about, you know, sports professionals, 
they always have a coach. And that's what we are. We become the coach. We become someone that helps you on this journey to discover, to strategize, and in the end result, how to use that more money that you end up within your control. And how do you pass that on to the next generation? So that's the a really simple thing. Now, I promised you earlier on that I have you a bonus for you. And so that's what I want to do now. What bonus do I have for you? And I've already touched on this. It's really this. If you are serious about learning about this concept, I'm going to encourage you to get a copy of this book. Now, there's been over 500,000 copies of this self-published book sold. And that in itself should say a lot. So, you know, now when people say, well, why are they sold? Why well, we sold so many books? It's a simple answer and it works. That's what I wanted you to, you to see. It works. And, you know, as you go through life, you're going to, you know, come across a lot of things. There's a lot of noise out there and I get that. And I'm trying to you know, help you by eliminating some of the noise that's out there. And I, I really feel for people because in today's day and time and with all the technology, there's so much stuff coming at us. Just volumes and volumes of information are coming at us all the time. And so often it creates you know, such a feeling for us that we really don't know what to do. And we just feel overwhelmed with things. So today I wanted to go through this thing and just trying to make things as simple as you I could about, well, why would you want to even consider the infinite banking concept as part of your life? And it's really about control. And it really goes back to, if you can get control of your need for finance, opportunities, you know, you're going to have flexibility, you're going to have more opportunities, you get control. And, you know, when you think about, you know, what is it, the opportunities that are out there for you? And you think, well, yeah, I want to do this or I want to do that. Let's get into real estate investing or I'm already in real estate investing. That's a key thing about this element. It's not about stopping those things. It's about getting control of your need for finance. And once you have control, you can go on and keep on doing all those things you want to do from a financial perspective to, you know, build wealth for you and your family. So I hope today you just found those three simple steps to helpful for you. Help you discover how much money that you presently have is flowing into your control, how much is flowing out of your control. And I'm going to strategize about how to get more into your control. And then the end result is going to be you'll retain more money that you can utilize for the rest of your life and for the next generations. Just want to again encourage you to go to watchibc.com and that's a 90 minute video gives you more information on how this concept works and secondly we've got a lot of great videos on this channel take the time to watch a few and learn and help yourself on that journey catching what is the infant banking concept all about thank you and i wish you well